I remember back when I first tried to use my Canon M50 for live streaming and I was facing a whole bunch of problems. The first problem I needed to solve was connecting the Canon M50 to the computer itself. So I found two ways of doing this, using the USB cable or a capture card. Now there's pros and cons to both methods and it took me a while to do some research and experimenting, so much so that I made a comparison video which you can check out later on, link will be in the description below. But uh, hey, if you're feeling lazy and uh, you really, really, really trust me, I would recommend you go with the USB option. Next, I realized I needed a way to mount the Canon M50 since holding it in my hand is not really a great idea and neither is placing it on my table. There's so many ways to solve this issue, but I find the Ulanzi Universal Desktop... Oh God. They need a better name for this. The Ulanzi Universal Desktop Livestream Stand. <sighs> it's a very affordable all-in-one solution for live streaming and recording talking head videos like this one. You just need to clamp the main pole to your desk, which saves a lot of space. Then you attach these three tentacle-like arms that are independent. You can easily adjust the height of each of these arms and you can also move the joints by loosening the screws here. It also comes with this ball head which you can use to mount your camera on. All this make it really easy to position your camera either at the top of your monitor or at the side. There's so many other things you can do with this mount that it deserves its own video. So I'm gonna make a tutorial on this really soon. One of the weaknesses of the Canon M50 is the battery life. So live streaming tend to be around one to two hours and the last thing you want is to suddenly drop out. Now, what if I told you there is a way to provide unlimited power? <laughs> to your Canon M50. Here's what I recommend. Use a dummy battery and connect it to a power socket. Mm, but this leads to another problem. The Canon M50 battery door is positioned in a way that might disrupt your power cable. There's a few ways you can solve this issue, but I find using a small quick release plate to be the easiest. I'm putting Ulanzi in the spotlight again here since I'm using the Ulanzi Falcom F38 quick release plate. That is a mouthful. <laughs> this quick release plate is so small and flexible that it can give enough room for the battery door. In case you don't know, a quick release plate is a separate piece attached to the bottom of your camera, which is usually found on top of tripods and ball heads. So this way you can easily detach your camera from your tripod or mount instead of having to screw and unscrew your camera all the time. So you're getting extra value from this solution since it makes it easier for you to change your camera position when you're doing normal videos as well. Yeah, looks like I need to do another video for this quick release system as well. Make sure you subscribe then. Now, even after you got these accessories, it's best that you connect your Canon M50 to a live stream software like OBS. This allows for more flexibility and options on managing your live streams. So watch this video next to learn more about how to connect your Canon M50 to OBS.